protocol has been said and done. Mm -hmm. But I have to say I thank God for my leaders. Amen. Amen. I thank God for my apostle. I thank God for my senior pastor. Amen. Mm -hmm. Most of all, I thank God for my queen. Mm -hmm. Amen. My ace buku. Mm -hmm. My love of my life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Y'all may be seated. I'm going to be coming from Matthew 10, starting at the 37th verse and ending at the 39th verse. Those who have your Bible, turn with me and please stand once you receive this, because you're not giving reverence to, to me or to the leaders, but you're giving reverence to God. On his words. Amen. Amen. Those that get it, once you get it, please stand. Please pay attention to what the Lord is trying to say on today. It reads, he that loved father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loves the son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. You may be seated. May we have a blessing to the reading of his words. But if we had to emphasize, when I got the phone call to, to speak on today, and I was said, the cross. I said, Lord, I need you to tell me what the cross means. Mm -hmm. I know what I think it means, mm -hmm. but I wanted to know what you said it meant. Mm -hmm. So he took me to this verse, and the key verse is going to be Matthew 10 and 38. And he that taketh not his cross, mm -hmm. his cross. So if I had to come up with a subject is pick up your cross and let's go. Pick up your cross and let's go. And when, I, when, I, when he said that, I said, Lord, I like that. I like that. Pick up your cross. See, in this message, he's telling us to pick up your mess and come to me. See, a lot of us say, I don't want to go to God until I get straight. I don't want to even want to come to church until I get straight. I don't want to come to church any old kind of way. But in this message, he's telling you to pick up your mess and come on with me. Pick your mess up. Now, each of us got our own separate kind of mess. You might not have the same mess I got. You might not got the same mess our pastor's got. But whatever mess you got, pick it up and come on with me. See, see, a lot of us think we got we to gotta get straight before we go to God. But how many of us know he said, bring your mess with you? See, that cross, that cross, you got to remember now, he carried that cross for our sins. Now, how many of us know that sins is a bunch of mess? So you understand what I'm saying is pick up your cross and come on with me. Pick your mess up and bring it with you and come on with me. Because how many of us know that we, we can't fix our mess by ourselves? So that's why he's telling you pick that cross up just like Jesus did. He picked up that cross for our sins and carried it. He carried it for us. But now he says, I done did the carrying. Now you got more mess. You need to pick the cross up and bring it to me. See, he had to get that cross and carry it to Calvary so it could be hung. Now you got your cross, your mess, your weight that you got to carry and bring to him. See, some of us don't want to admit we got mess. 
that we need to bring to the cross. We need to bring to the altar. We need to care. It might not be a big mess. It might not even be a, a side of a mustard seed, but it's still mess. So every one of us in here, we walk around, and I, I wore it for a purpose. We walk around with this cross around our neck. Mm -hmm. just, just like Pastor Dudley said, we, it, it may look good. But how many of us really know what this cross is? What it means to carry the mess. What it means to travel with God and knowing that you still got stuff on you. Still knowing you got stuff in you. Still knowing you got stuff that God get delivered from. But he still tell you, bring it to me. Bring your cross to me. This is your opportunity to travel. This is your opportunity to carry that weight. See, 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 and, and, and when I was reading this, I, I thank God for my, uh, my regional apostle and my chief apostle. They, they got me this app that I'm working on. I've been using it, and it's been, it's been useful. It's been really useful. So to y'all that don't have it, please get with your with the pastors and get this app because this app is going to break it down to you. So when I asked it and looked at the app, it said, he that taketh not his cross. Then I thought about it. Wait a minute now. He says, he that taketh not his cross. Then I looked at it again and I had to read it again. Because he said, he that taketh not. So what he's trying to tell us is, he wants you to bring his stuff to him. Mm -hmm. This ain't something that you can do on your own. He says, I want you to bring your mess to me. Whatever that weight is, that sin is, or that situation is, he wants you to bring it to him. Now, just because you got it, don't mean you can't get right. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> See, some of us feel like, well, well, I, I got this, I got this sin on me, or I got that sin on me. I don't think the pastors or God gonna appreciate that. No, God wants all of it. Yes, all of it. That's right. He said, and, it's, it is, and I thought about this. I said, Lord, you telling me to bring it to you, not to leave it. And I said, okay. All right, so he wants me to bring the weight of this cross with me. Because I thought about, we all know the story of Jesus when he was carrying the cross. There was one man that came out and helped him. One man that came out and helped him. So how many of us know there's one man that can come out and help you? You ain't no better than Jesus. There is a man that can come and help you. And his name is Jesus. He can come help you. See, we all got this thing called secret sin. Or secret, secret within. Don't tell me you ain't got it just because you saved now. Because you had it at one time. Some of you still got it. And what he's trying to tell us on today is, all right, now, I done carried this cross for you. Now, I need you to carry your cross to me. I carry the original cross. Now, I need you to carry your cross to me. So, next time you walk around and you got this cross, you take all of that that's in you and say, Lord, I give it to you. I'm carrying the cross. Now I'm taking it to you. And how many of us know that once you do that, that's when you're going to start seeing manifest manifestations of things changing in your life. See, I, I, I was like that at one time. I was scared to bring the mess that I was in to God. Because I was afraid he was going to judge me. 
I was afraid that, 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 they, 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 that he wouldn't love me because of the mess that I carried. But then I had to learn that I had to take it to him. I couldn't take it to nobody else. I had to take it to him. I had to go before him and carry the weight of my cross to him. Well, how many of us know once I got there, it felt like I was on cloud nine. I had no more weight. I had no more burden. I had no more shame. Because he says, what you shame on earth, you're going to be shame in heaven. I had no more shame. I admitted I was a whole monger. I hurt women before they hurt me because I was abused at a young age. I held all of that stuff. But I put it on my cross and I brought it to Jesus. Now, is it going to be an easy walk sometimes? That cross gets heavy. It gets heavy. Mm -hmm. That burden that you carry gets heavy. But how many of us know I serve a God that can make everything light? Amen. I serve a God that can take all my weight off of me. But the one thing we've got to do is we've got to turn it all to him. Not some of it. He didn't say bring me a piece of the cross. He said bring me the cross. That means your whole cross. You can't sit here and hold it in and expect something to happen. You got to let it go. You got to let it go. Got to. You got to carry that weight of your cross and bring it to God. You tired of crying? Bring that cross to God. You tired of financial issues? Bring that cross to God. You tired of physical? See, that, that's one thing I love about Mother. She was saying about here, you got to bring every bit of your pain. When I laid up in that hospital, I brought it before God. When I didn't know, think I would ever walk or if I would ever talk, I had to bring it before God. I had to carry that. Now, pastor came and prayed for me, but he couldn't carry it for me. Senior pastor came and prayed for me, but they can't carry that cross for me. I had to carry it for myself. I had to stand up for myself. See, Jesus, he got help, but in the end, he still had to carry the cross. He had people that wanted to help him. But he still had to carry the cross. So I'm saying to somebody, and this is for somebody, because I'm going to be honest with you. This ain't nothing what I wanted to speak on. Amen. This is not, ask my wife. I had it all set up, but halfway here, the Lord said something totally different. I said, Lord, I, I, I'm not prepared for this. He said, be ye ready, for I'm ready. So somebody had to hear, you got to carry your cross. Whatever your weight is, whatever you got to go through, take it to Jesus. Carry the cross, even if you got to take baby steps. Some of us can take big steps, but God says, I don't care what kind of step, just bring it to me. Your marriage, bring it to me. Mm -hmm. Your relationships, bring it to me. Mm -hmm. your, your, your deep inner feelings, bring it to me. Because see, the Lord is telling me somebody in here has got some deep inner feelings that they got to carry to the cross. Mm -hmm. right. See, he wouldn't have told me to change up if it wasn't for somebody. Mm -hmm. Needed to hear that. And I'm going to tell you something. When you bring it, he ain't going to judge you. He going to help you. He's going to help you. It may hurt, but he's going to help you. 
You got to cry sometimes, but he's going to help you. That cross may be heavy to the point where there's no turning. You think you can't even go no further. But he says, I never leave you nor forsake you. So carry that cross. Bring it to me. That pain that's on the inside. Bring it to me. That's all he's waiting on. That's all he's waiting on. For you to bring your cross. And I'm going to tell you this. Mama can't carry your cross. Daddy can't carry your cross. And I have to emphasize this. We love, we love you, but pastors can't carry your cross. We love you. Now, don't get me wrong. We love you. We'll pray for you. We'll be there for you. But in the end, we can't carry your cross. Because he says, he said it in his word now. And I want you to hear this well. Hear this good. He said it in his words. He that taketh not. He that taketh not. His cross. And follow after me is not worthy of me. So don't come up here and think that, that you can get away with anything. Come in here and act like you 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 leaving everything and you, you take some stuff back to your seat. Because he said, you're still not worthy of me. Because he said, bring your cross. That means the whole cross. Like they're saying that the truth is nothing but the truth, so help me, God. The cross is nothing but your cross, so help you, God. I don't know who needed to hear that, but the Lord spoke that to me on the way here. I've been at work all day pondering what the Lord, Lord and I, I wrote down stuff, but I ain't written none of the stuff I wrote. Because the Lord said this is for somebody's cross. There's a purpose for this service. There's a purpose for you calling and saying we need to talk about this cross. Because somebody's got a cross they hadn't brought to Jesus yet. And he's waiting on your cross. So I pray right now that somebody get I, something. It's short, it's sweet, but it's to the point. It's to the point. You got a cross? Bring it to him. Today. Bring it to him while you got a chance. Don't wait till it becomes too heavy. That you can't handle it. Don't wait till it gets to the point where you can't even see which way you're going. Bring it while you got a chance. Because the Bible says warning come before. This is somebody's warning. Facebook, friends and family. Pick up your cross and let's go. Pick up your mess and bring it to me. Whatever your mess is, bring it to me. And do it today. Do it right now. While you have a chance. I pray that somebody gets this. I pray that, that this is, I know I'm in the middle and I know I got a powerful woman of God coming behind me. <laughs> powerful woman of God. And I know that our chief apostle, if you bring your cross to him, he's going to help you to show you how to get it where you need to get to. Like I said, he can't do it for you, but he can show you. I've seen your past that they can show you. I see it in somebody's eyes. I see it in your eyes right now. Bring it and see what God will do. Y'all keep me up in prayer.